Jadi itulah dia bahagian untuk pihak Ericsson di sini. Okey, ada satu benda yang menarik saya nak tunjuk dekat anda. Nah. Jadi ini adalah satu kereta yang menggunakan rangkaian 5G. Yang mana maksudnya kereta ni, dia remote control car lah sebenarnya. Anda boleh control kereta ni menggunakan rangkaian 5G dan dia punya control tu duduk ada dekat dalam. Ha, jadi saya tunjuk dekat anda lah. Nah. Ha, jadi kalau nak ikutkan secara teori kan, memandangkan belakang ni dia ada satu router 5G dekat sini. Jadi dia kan nampak kan dia ada network, network connection masuk dalam tu, so dia ada komputer dia dalam tu. So untuk nak control ni, dia gunakan 5G router ni. Jadi kalau nak ikutkan kan, saya boleh bawa kereta ni, contohnya kalau dia punya controller tu dekat sini, saya boleh bawa pergilah naik atas highway ke apa ke sampai kat Sabah Jaya, Putra Jaya, selagi mana dia ada rangkaian 5G. Dan kalau nak ikutkan lagi logiknya, kalau kita sambungkan satu 4G ataupun 5G router kat belakang ni, jadi selagi mana ada sambungan internet, kita boleh bawa lah dia. Ha, tu dia dia. Tak apa, nanti saya akan explain kepada anda pasal kereta ni noh. Hi, my name is Lily. I'm from Ericsson. So what I have here today is the remote control vehicle or in short RCV. We also have the driver station located at different area in the center. This is to show the 5G capability of low latency where when the driver start driving or stop, the car will immediately follow. Even when you go left and right, the car will continuously follow. So how does this RCV work? It has this 5G router located at the back of the car with 5G SIM card fitted and there's also a camera on top to show the front and the rear view. So this RCV car is also powered by edge computing. So now let's have a drive. Jump drive. Hello again, so this is the driver station which I mentioned just now. The car is now being driven from a different location. The processor that runs for this control unit here is located at the back of the seat and you can connect it with either Wi-Fi or even 5G. So you can see the view of the camera for the front and the rear here and also we put CCTV around the center to show uh, the car location. So this use case can be adopted where safety is a major concern. For example, there is an unidentified object found at the airport. Rather than sending a security enforcer to check, you can send the RCV to assess the situation. And if it really is a bomb, for example, the car can also be equipped with robotic arm to even safely defuse the bomb. Another use case is Bay, a startup company in Germany has teamed up with both Ericsson and Deutsche Telekom, offering for door-to-door -door car service with tele-driving. Customer can request a car, and unmanned car will be driven remotely right at the exact location. So customer don't have to worry about parking. And when customer is done with the car, he or she can just leave it wherever, and the car will be driven remotely to the next customer or designated place. All of this real-life use case is made possible with 5G low-latency capability. Thank you.